Hello again, my name is Owusu Atakra. Today we are going to see how to construct an electro-pneumatic circuit for a conveyor belt with oscillation motion. So if you look at this uh, circuit, this drawing here, if you look at this drawing here, there is a double acting piston. And as the double acting piston oscillates, what happens is that the cylinder moves in that direction so the oscillation motion of this double acting cylinder with um, giving the notation uh, a1 the conveyor also moves around so we are going to look at how to draw the electropneumatic circuit for this first of all we will need to draw our pneumatic circuit and then secondly we draw the electrical circuit so with the pneumatic circuit we need a 5 to DCV we will also need a double acting actuator so this is our double acting actuator And I'll connect this to that. As usual, five and three are always exhaust, so I give the exhaust to them. And then I will go and get a supply supply element, which is the compressor. I'll give it to one. Now let's configure the five two cylinder. So we go to configure valve, and then on the right hand side come down to pneumatically operated and electrical speak electrical one which is the solenoid and then on the left hand side to do same and say okay and you get it now we have to label this solenoids with the designated uh, names given to it or uh, letters given to it so with this we'll give it y1 solenoids are designated as y so that is y1 and this one we will give it y2 so the pneumatic circuit is complete this is the double acting cylinder and then we've got our um, 5 2 solenoid solenoid we can simulate it and see if it works So as it goes for and up, out and in, it just moves this cylinder. So that is working. Now let's look at the electrical circuit. Let's go to electrical controls and then straight to power supply. Get your 24 volts and then the neutral, which is zero. connect both together and then draw it apart like that so that you can fix your other components in them now let's go to relays we need a relay we need two relays to control it we are going to control this circuit indirectly so we need two relays to control the two solenoids that we are going to pick so this is a solenoid and that is also a solenoid. I can put this solenoid in here. So we've now got two relays, two solenoids. Let's connect this to that and then this to the neutral. Same as that. And then this also same. Also connect this to that, the power line, and then this to the neutral. So now we need means of operating this electrical circuit. Now let's go to switches, pick a detent because we want it to oscillate. If it's not oscillated, then we will pick this simple one, this simple push button. So we want a detent push button. And then we also need 
switches that are operated mechanically i will put one here and then i will put one in this one in that one in that now let me come back to this pneumatic circuit let me configure this cylinder here so you go to actuating labels now s1 zero and one what i want it to do is that the cam on this cylinder i want it to operate this switch mechanically when this cylinder is in the home position or has retracted and it should do so when it's just about zero to one millimeter now let's do for s2 and that is let me say 99 and 100 what means what it means is that when this cylinder are strokes and it gets to a mark of 99 millimeters 200 it should activate or actuate the second switch limit switch now before this can move this whole thing can move or this cylinder which this is piston that control this can move there should be two conditions one of the conditions is that the cam on this piston should sit on this limit switch s1 another condition is that somebody has to press this switch the detent switch here so i will make this one as s1 that mechanical switch there i will make it s1 this relay relays are designated as k and i've got two relays so one will be k1 and then the other will be k2 so this is going to be k2 this solenoid will be y1 they are designated as y and this is y2 So Y1 control, that is this one here, it controls this side. And then Y2, that is this here, controls that side. So now K2 should be operated mechanically by the limits, uh, by the cam on the piston. So when the piston gets to S2, it should operate this one. It should operate, it should close this switch. So I will give this switch as S2. Now this is going to be K1 and I'll explain in a minute. This is K1 because it's K1 switch that should operate this solenoid. This solenoid is going to operate through this relay and this solenoid operates to, through, uh, through this relay. So I will give this the switch for this solenoid as the switch k1 sorry k2 so the circuit is almost complete what we have done is that the two conditions one of them is met now but the other one that should be met is has to be done by human intervention somebody has to press this and then the cylinder will start moving it will be oscillating because this is a detent and it stays in there until you give it a second press to uh, bring the whole um, process to a stop so now we've got almost everything here we've labeled all of them now let's give it a try let's simulate and see if it's going to work So it's working as it should. It's reciprocating and as it reciprocates, this is also going to, this, uh, the conveyor will be moving around because there is a ratchet here that locks it in. So anytime it, the piston moves forward, there will be a rotation for the conveyor. Thank you for watching and keep expecting more videos from me.